Greetings everyone, GPT-4 has been released just two days ago. Currently, it is only available to chat GPT Plus subscribers. Therefore, today I am going to test it truly to show you what it is capable of. I can say that it is just amazing, amazingly improved when compared to chat GPT Plus. So to be able to use GPT-4, we are using the regular chat GPT Plus interface. When you click the new chat, you will get option to select between different models. The default model is GPT-3.5 for Plus users. There is legacy GPT-3.5 version. This is for free users and gpt4 option this is also available for plus users currently gpt4 is in beta version therefore not all of the features that it is going to have is included and available but it is still awesome even in this version the first question i'm going to demonstrate is writing me a tetris game that is fully working on a browser so i have asked it, gpt4 write me a simple tetris game the game must have score system the game also has to be written purely by javascript and html5 also explain me how to play the game I didn't touch the code that GPT-4 has generated. I only given the verbal commands and it fixed it the code and make it working. The first code it provided me didn't work very well. Therefore, I said that no blocks are coming. And then it apologized and given me corrected code. Again, I said that the game is still not starting. After that, it apologized again and give me another code that is improved and fixed it. Unfortunately, it is still limited to 4,000 characters, I believe. Therefore, you have to write continue to get the remaining code. After I have written continue, it completed the code as you can see here and then i got a working code the first basic code it has provided me is working like this as you can see it's a simple tetris game it is working perfectly playable by using arrow keys on your keyboard you are able to play it as you can see you can change the position of the objects you can rotate them and it is working the code is pretty simple it has a basic html content like this the gpt4 is telling you to write this code into an html file then it is also giving you the javascript code like like this and you are writing it to a gs file and giving the name of it this is the entire code the game was too simple therefore i asked gpt4 to add different colors to the different shapes and it started giving me new functions that are modified to have colored shapes after back and forth fixing the code giving the prompts and telling the gpt4 that it is not working or this is wrong or this is not right this is the final version of the application as you can see now the shapes have colors i also speeded up the game a little bit more so the strategy is just telling the gpt4 what to do what you want to change and it will do that since it is still limited in the output the number of characters it can provide you are still limited to make a very big application however it is working very well when you work on with the individual functions and methods and you don't even need to know programming for make it work the second question i ask it is what is text to image state build diffusion and how does it work explain for a person who doesn't have deep level technical knowledge it explain it me like you can see on a level i don't have technical knowledge then i ask it the question in a different way what is text to image stable diffusion and how does it work so explain like i am five and this time it explained it me like i am five and this is amazing unfortunately the model is not very up to date in their paper they mentioned it that they have finished the training in august 2022 therefore if you are asking something that is never than this even some of the previous months you are not going to get a good answer the third question i ask it is tokenize this sentence using tokens like word symbol number date person and also add additional information to the tokens i have given this sentence 1997 hello furkan are you there and it generated me a json output tokenized it as i wanted and it is just amazing let me show you so the tokens type text is upper is lower word shape ordinal index is beginning of sentence is end of sentence tfid score word count hash counting corpus it uses a hypothetical english corpus therefore we have tfidf score or other things otherwise we wouldn't have them the fourth question is a really good one i said that my wife's name is mariam she loves flowers wind sea sun and horses write me a very beautiful and unique poem that i can read to her and it has written me an awesome poem as you can see right now it is just amazing you, if you don't have such skills like me you can use this tool to write awesome love letters or poems to your wife as a fifth question i ask it something that is much harder to do write me an html5 app that will generate a flock of bird simulation it said that creating a full flock of bird simulation may be too complex to fit within the constraints of this text-based response however i can provide you with a basic structure and example so when you are working with gpt4 you should first get a template then ask gpt4 to fill the blanks for you that way it is able to generate much longer text much coherent text much coherent response so if you ask gpt4 to give you a full solution it will say that it can't do that right now because of the size of the output 
but if you get a layout first then ask individual parts it will complete individual parts for you let me show you the output i got by the way i had to also do some back and forth with write update method or other things and say continue to write the rest of the code so this is the flock of bird animation it generated for me so this is the code that gpt4 provided me i didn't touch anywhere i just given the variable commands and it fixed the code it written the missing parts of the code then if you don't like something with the code you can command gpt4 to modify the parts of that code and it will generate you a modified prompt you can improve the code as you want by just verbally asking gpt4 and say what to do to it then i asked a question that i couldn't solve in the recent time unfortunately gpt4 was also not able to solve this maybe because this is a recent development in the machine learning maybe because it is still not capable of i said that i am trying to use the below code to calculate similarity of given two images the code is not working please fix it it provides a fixed code but however it is not fixed actually i asked this on stack overflow and i got an answer for this question however gpt4 failed to answer this so we can say that it is not still at the perfect level yet then i asked another easy one write me a base script that will read the given folder images and rename them randomly you can use gpt4 for such simple tasks it will save a lot of time of you but make sure that you back up your files first and execute the script later because sometimes it can give you a destructive code as well i asked translation as well said that translate this text into english the text was written in turkish and it translated it perfectly fine this is a better translation than google translate or other services with translation gpt4 is better than all of the previous versions then i asked the translation to the gpt4 because the translation was related to something programming does the runtime of an experiment code using actr model written in python differ between linux and windows on the same hardware the provided answer by the gpt4 is pretty good so you can ask such questions to gpt4 as well and improve your knowledge then i asked gpt4 how to calculate distance similarity measure of given two strings in .NET core actually this was a real question that i asked on stack overflow 11 years ago this is the question and you can see it was asked 11 years ago the answer it provided is really really good you see if you have a such task then i don't have to search google search stack overflow or other websites i can ask gpt4 and test it out whether it is working or not it is providing a really good code actually this code is extremely similar to the answer given my question on stack overflow i compared it and it is almost same with this answer i have given a code and set gpt4 to refactor it refactor the given below code and improve its performance in dotnet core c sharp and it given me a refactory code but not only given me the code it also said that which parts of the code it did improve combined the two initial null or empty strings checks into the single check replace a 2d array with 1d arrays swap the contents of two 1d arrays at the end of the other loop and the rest of it gpt4 is also extremely good writing love text as well i am sure you are also annoyed by the spam calls robocalls automated calls so i said gpt4 i received a spam call from some random guy inch draft a federal love suit for 1500 dollars under the tcpa to sue use the context you have learned from other cases and it provided me an excellent answer in the beginning it says that please note that i am not a lawyer and this is not a legal advice consult with an attorney for any legal matters the answer it provided is extremely good as you can see so you can use gpt4 to get a template of your love related materials of course you can't 100 percent trust the gpt4 but let's say you are a lawyer then you can use gpt4 for you to generate a template and then you can fix the template so gpt4 is extremely useful in professional life as well then i asked another some cool thing i said gpt4 convert the following document into a presentation pasted the text entire text actually it is a pretty long text then it turned the document into a presentation and it is awesome it is fantastic slide one title subtitle slide two title and the text slide three title and the text slide four title and the text it doesn't provide you the entire slide so therefore you need to type continue then it continues to writing slide six slide seven slide eight i think when it is released in full version it will be able to generate much longer text because in the website of openai gpt4 has a context length of 8000 tokens we are also providing limited access to our 32000 tokens context about 50 pages of text of gpt4 as you can see here so it is going to support much bigger responses much bigger input it is also going to support image input however it is not currently available in the interface so you will be able to give a visual input and then gpt4 will be able to process that image 
image and give you the results so you will be able to give an input image and ask questions about it such as what is unusual about this image and gpt4 will tell you the unusual thing about this image is that man is ironing clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi it is just amazing i wanted to further push gpt4 and see what it is capable of so i said that generate me a svg code that will draw a battle scheme from a human fighter fighting against a futuristic robot and guess what it did produce so this is the first image it has generated we can see that there is a human here a battle robot here it's a very simple fighting scheme but it was able to generate this purely from text prompt it is just amazing then i said that can you make human and robot character bigger size you see that i had a typo here but still it was able to understand the command perfectly well and this is the second image it generated it made them bigger size as i have instructed to the gpt4 this was all for today if you have enjoyed please like subscribe leave a comment and tell me what you are thinking i believe that in the future gpt will be much more useful for professional using it will be much more capable to do more things it will make our jobs easier if you also support me on patreon i would appreciate it very much you can find the patreon link here thank you so much for watching and leaving a comment and i am going to hopefully release a new video regarding how to teach a style at the level of mid journey for free for stable diffusion stay tuned hopefully see you later